welcome to Love Wings Ministry Studios with breaking love news with the stand-in Minnie Mean and Pastor Benny Ramos. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Put a little bit of music on in the background here. Amen. God is so good. Uh, God is good, and he is worthy to be praised. I thank the Lord for another Tuesday night that I could come on. I'm a few minutes late. I was supposed to start at 7. But you know what? I'm here. Amen. You're there. Amen. And I, I appreciate those that are watching to please send a comment so I know who's watching. Amen. And again, I just thank the Lord for this opportunity. Uh, to be here, amen, with you guys, amen, another Tuesday, and keeping my covenant with you, <clears throat> hallelujah, thank you, Lord. So again, this is your host, Pastor Benny, and here's my mini-me standing, because I'm here by myself, amen, God is good, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God is good. <laughs> Making sure everything's working. And I just thank the Lord that I can be here again. Like I said, uh, it's a privilege every time that I can come on and to share the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me, God. Amen. Amen. And amen. So again, I'm just thankful. And I'm, I... I'm going to be talking today a little bit about great works that God has called you and me to do. Amen. And I know sometimes it can get hard sometimes just to do that. Amen. I'm just trying to fix the phones, make sure that they're on, not just on friends, but they're on. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, they're working now. Amen. God is good. Amen. I love serving the Lord. I love talking about God. I love talking about the Word of God to inspire you, my brothers and sisters. I inspire myself every day. Amen. And making sure that I'm doing what God has called me to do all the days of my life. Uh, if you're on there, I see, oh, Carmen Ebanks. God bless you, Carmen. Amen. Out in Far Rockaway Beach. Give you a little toot there. Amen. I've been kind of busy this week, but I'm here. I was under the weather again. It's like, man, I don't know what's happening out there. A lot of people have been praying for uh, that are going through some stuff, and it's basically like a flu or something, you know, congestion and all that. But I come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to bind and to loose those things. I pray healing right now in the name of right. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But well, before I get started, of course, I want to pray. Father, I thank you for this time that I can be here tonight to share with my brothers and sisters, Lord. Knowing that the Great Commission is still active, Lord, in our lives, Lord, to win others for the kingdom of God, to know your love, and to have a true intimate relationship with you, Lord. That is my purpose, is here to share the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me, God. And Father, I ask you, Lord, all those that are sick in body right now, Lord, I pray, Father, that you touch them right now, Lord. Those that are in the hospital, Lord, I, wherever they might be, Lord, I pray, Father, that you touch them and their families, Lord. Also, I pray for Iris's daughter, Lord, with the baby that she's about to do any day now, I believe, and just praying, Father, that you will continue to touch your body, Lord, and the baby, and protect all those that are having new newborns, Lord. Father, we stand in the gap for many, Lord, and as I always say, Lord, that you've shown me, Lord, that the things that we do, it affects other people, so let us affect them with your love, with your goodness, and with your truth, Lord. 
And let us never forsake the assembling of ourselves to come together to help one another, to pick up that phone, to pray for one another, to encourage and to build up, never to tear down, but to spread the gospel, Lord, which is your gospel of love, Lord, of truth, Lord, and that sets us free, my God. So I thank you, Lord, again for another opportunity you've given me, Lord, as Father, Lord, uh, Another year that's coming up soon that you've given me, Lord, that I can be here, Lord. I pray for Love Wings Ministry Studios. I pray for all the ministries out there. Full Gospel Tabernacle, Lord. Uh, One Accord Ministry out in, uh, on the line in uh, Fort Lauderdale. And all the ministries that are out there that you have called, Lord. I pray for them, Lord, to help the pastors, Lord, and their wives and their family, Lord. For it's a, it's a job, Lord. That is a call that you have called us to do, Father, for you've given us the fivefold ministry. Many gifts, Father, but the gift of a pastor. I pray for them, Lord. You continue to strengthen them, Lord, as I ask for strength for myself, Lord, to be able to continue the calling, Lord, that you've called us all to spread your, your love and your gospel, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to speak to my brothers and sisters again here out of Love Wings Ministry Studios. Hey man, I'm so grateful for my sister Carmen that was out here, Camila Carmen. Uh, she was here. We did a broadcast on Sunday. She was here for the service. Hey Amen. And uh, uh, we she was talking bilingual, which we want to do. We want to do every language here. So I'm looking for those that would like to be a part of this. Hey Amen. A part of our studio to be able to share in different languages. Uh, the word of God and the love of God to those that are out there. So I really appreciate her. If she's watching me, I give her a shout out. And again, those that are watching, please send a comment so I know who's watching. Even if you just say hi or just put your name. Amen. Amen. And also, I want to thank for all of you. Our views have gone, man, high. Amen. Over 100, uh, 200, 300 views on on. on in a few hours after we do a service, I really appreciate that. And those that are coming out new to Love Wings, I, I thank God for them. Uh, Anthony and his family and uh, Brandon, all of them that have been coming out and being a part of Love Wings to go out and share the love. Amen. Uh, to share the love of God and to work together as a team because God has called us all to work together. Amen. So I want to talk about a little bit about that tonight. Amen. I want to talk about... Uh, we all are called to do great things, to do great works, but we got to go. We got to be active. We got to get involved. Amen. I'm going to start with the word, of course. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 says, Then Jesus took dominion over the, the demons, over the living things. Uh, now Jesus walked on this earth. In the th authority and the power of God had uh, originally given to mankind. Again, the power and the authority that was given to Adam, but Adam messed it up, amen, so Jesus had to come. But gave us what? Jesus walked on this earth with the authority and the power that has uh, was ordained for, was already given to man, amen. Now, why is this important to us, my brothers and sisters? You ask, and I'm going to tell you. Amen. I wish I could say it in Spanish, but I'm waiting to do new programs. So I'm hoping we're going to do a Spanish and English program here to be able to touch our Spanish brothers and sisters that don't speak English. Amen. That well or understand it. But again, why is it important to us? Why is it necessary that we understand that Jesus operated on this earth as a man, as a perfect man, as Adam, and was created to be? Amen. Because then he is truly our example. Amen. And we know that we know that Jesus is the greatest example. He is the high priest. Amen. But they have anointed us to be priests. Amen. You know, it's important that, again, I, I, I just feel led to always say this, that the things we do to affect those around us, so let us make sure that we're affecting in the right way. Let us not be double-minded or weary in what we do and what we believe in and who we serve. Amen. But also remember that we're here to serve one another. Amen. 
I try to understand, but I, I say, Lord, give me wisdom. Amen. But let me continue anyway. We can understand that how we can do the same work that he did. He work can be can become alive in us. His work can become alive in us. Why am I here every Tuesday? Why am I here every Sunday? Why am I here every, because I want to do what God called us all to do. The Great Commission, never forsaking the assembling of ourselves, but helping one another. Because again, how does Jesus work? And what did Jesus expect from you and me, my sister and brother out there? To really let us love each other. Let us encourage. This is why this is Love Wings. Amen. We want to love and encourage and and work together, amen, and do the things that God has called us. And most of the thing is to be faithful to one another and walk in integrity and truth. And remember, the church is a place where we come to get uh, families come, people come uh, to get instruction, but also to get the love of God and to share the truth with one another, not hurting anyone, but uplifting one another. Like it says in Ephesians 4, it, on down, it talks about equipping the saints for the work of service. We were sharing that on Sunday in Spanish and English. And I was talking about Sunday, wasting time. We waste so much time. Imagine a team. If they don't work together as a team uh, to set a goal, which is to, 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 to bring the light, the true light of God, the true love of God, into the atmosphere amen as we walk in the supernatural realm but we are still in the natural realm but we get we're to walk always in the supernatural realm amen so it takes people amen so let us remember that let us work together not against each other and let the house of the lord be one place only to 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 build up never to tear down amen but let me continue. We can understand that how we can do this, the same work that he did, he can because he can come alive within me and you. Jesus said in Luke chapter 4, verse 18 and 19, it says, For the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Now, I know you heard this verse. You probably heard it a billion times. And we got to keep reminding ourselves of that, as I do, to keep me in check and online and on the path that God has for all of us. But again, it says what? Uh, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to those who are captive. Amen. And, uh, and recover the sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. And also Jesus was talking to that to who? To his disciples. For his disciples. Even when he left and he, they met him up in the upper room, he said, I'm leaving because I'm sending you the gift, the greatest gift, which is the Holy Spirit that God gave him. Now, why I keep repeating that? Because sometimes we forget that. That the Holy Spirit is a person uh, uh, that God had sent to Jesus. And also, we were given that gift, which is the Holy Spirit that guides us and helps us. This is why I tell people, when you don't know what to do, stop. Count the five or ten, whatever you need to count to. And just meditate on the word and, re and renew your mind with the word and every decision that you make. And go to the word of God because the word of God is the manual to everything. When we see it as the book of life, is the book of truth that will give you wisdom and security to know that the things that you're about to do as you follow the word, you're secure that it's going to accomplish that purpose, whatever it might be. Amen. So again, he said, what? Uh, Jesus also was talking to the disciples and when he said to them in John chapter 15 verse 4 and 5 he said abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit from of itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you are abiding abide in the vine neither can you usually 
you abide in me. For I am divine, and you are the branch. He who abides in me, and I in him, or her, I'm going to put her there, bears much fruit. For without me, you can't do nothing. And that is the truth. Amen. This is why I'm a stickler to say this, man. We got to learn the word. We got to put that word in and into practice every day of our lives and every decision that we make, every thought that comes in our mind. We got to remember that we're saved and that, that we belong to Christ and that we are the body and he is the head and we're to work together to accomplish what the head has instructed us to do. For the gospel in the New Testament, the whole Bible is looking for a supernatural, looking for what the miracles that that are recorded and we read each one and we can stop and say i can i'm gonna say that again i can do that i can do that miracle in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i can do it too when you know that you know, man, nothing can separate you from that. Just like I always say, nothing can separate you from the love of God. And if God loves you and he's our father, he's going to give us the best. Amen. And he's always going to be there for you and me. He said for eternity. So we have the power, my brothers and sisters, you know. I say this, man. The people that got put in your life, I always say this, and I'm going to keep saying it, and maybe it'll help someone out there. But the people that, that God put in your life, that's your ministry. They're not there by chance. They were sent to you. Amen. I believe that strongly. So be careful how we treat those that, that God has sent to us. I know some people can let us down. Some people can be difficult. Let me say that to you. I just feel led by the Spirit to say that. Because I go through it, man, especially as a pastor, man. You know, one minute people love you, the next minute, I don't know what happened. They don't know you or they're angry at you and you don't, and sometimes you don't even know why. I can say that as a pastor because I've experienced it. And that's the burden, uh, so to speak, or the, or the mantle that God has given those that are pastors out there. It's hard. And even as a Christian, you know that, that some friends, uh, as soon as you become saved and they're not saved, um, it's a different ball game. You know, they don't treat you the same. They, they start looking at you differently, saying, oh, now you think you're so holy. And so because they don't know. But we know. That's why we, why we know, because we got to read the word and remind ourselves every day. As the Bible says, renew your mind day and night so you don't forget who you are and what's expected from you and me, my sister and brother. How do we to act? How do we to treat those relationships as we have with God, those relationships that God has put in our lives. You know what? We, that's what we are brothers keepers. Amen. Also, so be careful how you treat others. Be careful. You, you know, because remember, we all in we gotta be in that branch, all vines growing together as fruits, working that 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 many can come. Again, if we accept the fact that we can do the work of Jesus, most, uh, uh, most of us uh, are stubborn at the idea that of doing great works. Some of us are so, I can't do it. We were talking about that, me and my sister, and I was reminding her, uh, uh, Carmen, uh, that was here with me, and we were talking, and she was saying in Spanish, beautifully speaking in Spanish, and she has that gift, and I want to encourage her if she's out there. And she'll uh, uh, be a part here with us to do programs, to be able to share. But this is what I'm talking about. Those people that come into your path, I'm, I believe I'm here to uplift them and to encourage them, not just because I'm a pastor. We're supposed to do that automatically. Amen. And treat them with respect and love and integrity and truth each other amen let us let us not continue to walk in the way that we've been walking in our flesh remember we've got to walk in the spirit this is why i tell people we got to continue to uh, remind ourselves of the word speak the word every day pray every day and and act 
act on the word, not just read it, but actually act on it, live it, in other words. Amen. But again, we accept the fact that we can do the work of Jesus. Most of us are stubborn at the idea of doing great works. Perhaps that because we have limit, let me say this again, we have limit our understanding to thinking greater. Amen. Thinking greater, meaning longer and and in every quality of our thoughts should be, you know what? I can do this. I can do it greater and do the things because God said it. Jesus said, you're going to do great things. So if he's given us and has told us that, and we know that we have the, the Holy Spirit, amen, the, that God had given Jesus, he's given to us. We have the power, but we got to believe and we got to be active. You know what I'm saying? This is why I always say we got to sharpen our sword every day. Because you don't know what you're going to face every day. So we got to walk in that love and that truth. Amen. Let me say this, that think great, great things. You can do it. Don't let the enemy doubt come in. Well, I can't do this or I can't do that. No, you say, yes, I can. Amen. He that is in me is giving me the greatness to do that with. We read the word, he that is in me is greater than everything in this world. So remember that thing, that Holy Spirit is in us. When we stay in tune and when we follow the word of God and when we treat each other the way God wants us to treat one another. Remember this, John chapter 14, verse 12 says, Verily, verily, I say unto, ye, unto you, he that believes on me the work that I do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because I go unto the Father. Amen. So he's passed that sort of mantle or he's given us the power and the authority. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit and through the word of God to apply it. Amen. Amen and amen. I believe it. Amen. I believe the word of God. I trust the word of God. I apply it in my life. And all I can do is be a witness to you by being faithful and doing what God has called me to do. You see? And that's what he asks all of us to do. And those individuals that are here, uh, you know what? I'm going to love them, but also instruct them as I'm instructed through the word of God, amen, to let us do things in order, amen. You see, we got to follow the word to the letter. We got to uh, walk in order, integrity, and truth. You see? And we got to treat each other with that respect as God expects us to do the right thing. We got to do the right thing with each other, amen. And following the word of God to the letter, amen. So remember, now that Jesus had only three and a half years to minister and he was a person like us, like me and you, believer, and had around him for about 2,000 years since Jesus walked on this earth. And look at the number of millions of millions of disciples today brothers and sisters let me say that brothers and sisters because of Jesus so we know that he's our great example our great witness our great testimony we should be like he says amen you know as I said Jesus man he only walked a certain amount of time, uh, place, uh, and 144 miles long by 25 miles wide. That was about the approximate thing that Jesus walked, but he did so much and he shown so much. And this word that we have are from all of those that he touched. Amen. And the word is so precious. And like I said, it's the book of life. It tells us how to live our lives. It tells us the power, the, uh, the signs and the wonders that are in there, the secrets that have been uh, uh, given to us. And we can't take that lightly. We got to walk in it every day and uh, 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 
it's precious. Amen. I, what could I say? It's, it, 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 it helps us in every area. Amen. And, and that's why I'm here. It's just sharing. It, the word never changes. Thank God is the same and never changes is the same. And it has the same power that it did 2000 something years ago. It still has the same power. And just like some of the disciples raised the dead, walked, healed the sick just by their shadow. We, we have that, but we got to really be in tune with God and, and have that relationship. And the Holy Spirit, man, it rises within us that gives us the strength to do all these things that Jesus said we will be able to do. We got to get out of doubt and we got to stay committed. Amen. Remember, uh, uh, the works of Jesus uh, limit to, it was limited to one man and they are happening around the world through what? The hands of millions of believers. Remember, he was anointed. Now we have that anointed. Millions and millions of us to go out and do the miracles and signs and wonders that God was saying in his word. And Jesus said that we would do. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There is also the principle of multiplication. Amen. And in, in, in uh, uh, Leviticus 26, verse 8 says, Five of you shall cast hundreds and hundreds of you. Amen. Amen. We'll chase, rather, hundreds and hundreds of you. And also in Deuteronomy says that one can put what? A thousand to flight. And two can put 10,000 to flight when the Lord is involved. And that's in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 30. Again, and Deuteronomy says it, that one, one of us can put what? 10,000, oh, I mean 8,000 rather, to flight. And two of us can put 10,000 to flight. And when the Lord... When the Lord is involved in that, that means God has got to be the center. And the power of the Holy Spirit has got to, man, flow strong in those individuals to do that. Amen. As I'm here reaching as many people as I can to social media. And we have such an advantage now to share the gospel that everybody's heard. But we got to keep reminding. It's not just hearing the word. We got to continue as we renew our mind reminding ourselves at the same time reminding others to not to forget amen and remembering again putting on the helmet of salvation remember our salvation the day that god came into our lives oh hallelujah through jesus christ mm. you know the word is the greatest thing that gives us the strength and reflects the mindset and the heart of God for us, all of us, my brothers and sisters. You know, I come with you with the word, I always write verses and I write these things down because I think about the word all the time. See, the more you speak the word, the more you do something, as I tell people, you get into that habit. You know, the more you start doing things and the more you start quoting the word of God, the more it becomes part of you. What you're actually doing, I see this in the spirit in my interpretation, revelation of that, that the more I put in, the stronger the Holy Spirit grows within me. And my spirit changes, amen. Because it goes according to the Holy Spirit, according to the Word of God, according to doing the things that God has called us to do. And when you do that and when you speak to God, God will show you and God will talk to you and God will share. This is why I always ask the Lord, am I doing the right thing? Am I in the position that you want me today, every day? I say it. Am I doing what you call me to do? Uh, I want to make sure that it's not my mindset or anything else. I know that you call me to do this type of thing. I'm going to do it. Amen. And that's, and then as I'm doing it, God expects me to get into the word, perfect that gift, whatever it might be. Amen. To do it better and stronger because God wants to pour more into us. So the more that we read, the more wisdom we get, the more secure 
security. I was been teaching that for a few Wednesdays that uh, wisdom and security, we get more secure in our relationship and our boldness in knowing who we are and what God's will is for our lives. I hope you understand what I'm saying by that. Amen. And remember that when we come together, and if you're agreeing with me right now, as it says in Matthew chapter 18, verse 19, again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything, now concerning what? Anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father who is, well, Father in who? In heaven. When we add our faith, to faith of others, we are truly operating. This is the most important thing I can say to you tonight is this. When we add our faith, my faith, your faith together, amen, for others, we are truly operating in the body of Christ. And there is a powerful level of faith in which we make miracles happen. Amen. That's the truth. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I love the word. I love serving the Lord. I love God. I love Jesus. Amen. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I love sharing it, man. And when we get, because see, don't you know, the more you share it, the more you read, the more you do it, the more you live it, the stronger the Holy Spirit comes inside of you. You become that warrior that God is looking for. You become that, that chosen generation, that, that royal priesthood that he's called us to do. Oh, hallelujah. I'm trying to make sure that you uh, uh, hear this again over and over and going back to those basic elements from the beginning of time that... You know, God's word never changes. The same today and forever. And you have it, my sister and my brother. Oh, hallelujah. I pray that over your life right now. Father, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you're stirring the, the spirit within them. Father, Lord, let them get active. Lord, let them get active, Lord, to impact all of those people around them, Lord. And Father, Lord, let them get active that... Father, as they continue to seek after you, they continue to put the word into their lives, Lord, to live the word, Lord, that they're building the Holy Spirit stronger and stronger to become those warriors that you've called us to do, to be. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Remember, there's different works, but we all call to do the same, basically, as the Apostle Paul wrote, Apostle John, rather, wrote in John chapter 20, verse 31. I mean, thir ver John 20, I'm sorry, verse 30 to 31, two verses. It says, and truly, Jesus did many signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in the book, but... These are written that let that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Amen. Remember that we would have life. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And there is life. No matter what's happening in the world, so many people are concerned about this. People are saying this is the end of the earth. Everybody's saying, oh, this is hard time to look, man. Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit within us. He said, don't worry what you eat, what you drink, or what you have. He's going to take care of you. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. When you start living that word, that's what I'm talking about. The warrior inside of you. Those words, man, they empower you. That's putting on God. That's putting on the full armor of God. To be able to withstand all these negative things that are happening around us. That we think we need this or that. What we need the most is the Lord. Amen. We need God. 
to be the center in our lives and in our families. And that is the truth. That's all we need to make it, my brothers and sisters. He promised. And those promises come alive in your life because you're blessed, amen, by our Heavenly Father. And remember that always, always remember that. Oh, hallelujah. So don't worry what you eat, what you drink, what's around happening around the world. Things are always going to happen. There's always, we know that. We read the word. We know we're going to go through some things in life. We know that. Uh, the world's going to change and, 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 and they're going to try to uh, uh, take the name of Jesus out of the picture. But me and you, my sister and brother, we are to stand. Amen. Remember, deny to thyself. In Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, out of the King James Version, it says, I have been crucified with Christ. Therefore, no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me and the life I now live in flesh, I live by faith, amen, in the Son of God who loves me. Again, I'm going to say that again. Who loves me and gave himself for me. Amen. So when I think of this cross, I think about that verse all the time. And he loved me, number one. And that he took all that. And because of him, the promises, the things that I've been delivered from, the things that you've been delivered from, remember where you was at and where you at today. Amen. Because of Christ coming into your life. I always say, help me to be a better man, a better father, a better husband, a better person. And to walk in the truth and the integrity of God. Because remember, things are always going to be happening in the world. Always things are happening. But remember that our understanding and his understanding is different, but we can trust God. That's where the trust factor come in. We just got to continue to believe and become those warriors that God has called us to be, my brothers and sisters. Oh, hallelujah. So I hope that this little time that I spent with you has been blessed you because I come to bless you and to let you know that you can do it all. Amen. Through Christ. And the, and, and, and the Holy Spirit that's within you. Remind yourself of that every day. Remember, follow the word to the letter in your life. Be that. Love people. Do what God did. Do what Jesus did. Amen. And that's the greatest thing that I can say to you. And remember, there's always going to be things. But remember, we serve a mighty God. We walk in the power of God. Amen. And God is in us. So we know that we can do all things and no weapon form against us will ever prosper as long as we stay obedient and intact to that word and continue to feed the Holy Spirit that within us that becomes stronger and stronger. Unwavering, standing strong, standing steadfast. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. So you're blessed already, my sister. Yes, you. Yes, you, my brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now that's the breaking love new that continue to give us love and power to overcome every obstacle in our lives. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Again, I keep reaching out. We're looking for those that want to participate that are in the area and would like to be a part of the Love Wings family. Come down. Amen. See us. Uh, we're here, amen, and uh, I'm trying to do the best I can with what we have, but we continue to move forward. And I thank the Lord that we're in our, now in our first month or more or less of our first 14th year of ministry out here. And we're just looking forward to doing new things. We're looking forward to seeing new people come in, amen. Let us work together. Let us go out to the byways, to the highways, to the airwaves, to every social media, amen, platform that we have to change this world. You can do it, and I can do it. And that's what God has called us to do. So I'm excited always about doing the things of God. So I love you, my brothers and sisters. I'm going to put my mini-me back because I'm here alone. See, I needed help today. Somebody could have been here with me, amen. But that's all right. I keep waiting, amen. 
Here's my mini me, my stand in for me. Amen. As I go to the camera, please don't leave yet. I'm going to put up my address. Amen. And uh, I'm going to put the address on. And also our, 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 our location. Amen. And I hope to see some of you out. Uh, we have invited, amen, on Saturday, amen, it's my birthday, and, it, and then we're going to have a small celebration. We invite those that know me that would like to come, uh, please come and join us, amen. Um, I'm just, I'll use everything and anything to get, uh, uh, you know, to meet my brothers and sisters, those out there. I love you, and I just want to pray before I end. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, anyone out there, Father, maybe they've been hurt. Maybe they've been going through some things in their lives. Maybe they lost focus. Maybe they lost their relationship with you, Lord. For whatever reason it might be, Father, I, I pray, Father, that they have tuned their ears and stirred their spirit to just say, forgive me, as I do right now every day. I say, Lord, forgive me if I've done anything, Lord. Renew my mind. Renew my spirit. Amen. Come into my heart. Amen. And be part and Lord and Savior over my life, Lord. I want to do as this brother's talking about, becoming that warrior. Father, Lord, staying active, not 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 sitting, but doing your your call, which is to love and to meet other people and to uh, uh, fill myself with your word, to empower the Holy Spirit within me. Amen. To become that warrior. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. And if you Done that, my brother or sister out there. That's a great thing. Amen. If we can help in anything, you can reach us also at lovewingsministries at gmail.com. We're also, remember, we're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on uh, Ruko. We're in so many programs now. Uh, we're also on Taken TV. Amen. Uh, uh, we'll be sending videos there that will be uh, broadcast around the world. Amen. As we're being broadcast right now. So again, from Pastor Benny here, I'm going to go to the camera. Amen. Don't leave yet. I'm going to put the address up for those that would like to come, and I'll share the address with you. Amen. I love you guys. God bless you and your families. Hold on. I'll be right there. Our address is as follows. Our location is 5801 South U.S. Highway 1, Fort Pierce, Florida, 34982. Our number here is 772-834-9634. If no one answers, please leave a detailed message and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Amen. Again, this is your host, Pastor Benny Ramos from a Senior Pastor at Love Wings Ministry Studios and also... Love Wings Ministry next door, our sanctuary, amen. So we invite those to come out, amen, and be a part of the family. We're building not just disciples here, but family. We want to be family members, amen, to you and your family. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless all of you.